Hello, and welcome to the video on synchronized scheduling within Venus Control Suite. Synchronized scheduling is a way to schedule specific content to synchronize on multiple displays or different zones on a single display and is available to any customer in our professional or enterprise packages. Synchronized playlists can come in handy if you have multiple displays of different dimensions. Of course, if you have multiple displays of the same dimension size, you can place that all in a standard playlist. But, if you have displays of different dimensions, they will each be playing differently sized content and will require different playlists for each dimension of a different size. But when you use a synchronized playlist, you can put all of your displays, no matter the dimensions in there, to make sure that your content syncs up to all of them. You'll also be able to guarantee your expected rotation amongst your other displays. We often see synchronized playlists being utilized in malls that have a variety of displays spread throughout the mall, at sporting venues, and even at Times Square. To create a synchronized playlist, first open your scheduling app. Next to Add New, click the drop-down arrow and select Synchronize to create a new synchronized playlist, which is what your synchronized playlist will be called by default. If you click on New Synchronized Playlist, it will bring up your playlist properties on the right. All of these properties are similar to those in the standard playlist, including the playlist state, the date range, the days of the week, and the time ranges. After setting up your properties, you'll notice there are three icons in the top center of your playlist. We're going to start with the middle icon, as the other two will be grayed out at the start. Hovering over an icon, will bring up a tooltip showing you what that icon does. In this case, the center icon opens up our displays and allows us to add what displays we will be syncing content to. Your displays and zones within each individual display will open up on the right. There is a search bar if you have multiple displays you need to search through and filters if you'd like to filter displays by tags or dimensions. Click the checkbox next to all displays or zones you want this playlist to apply to. You'll notice for each display added, you'll get a new column added into your playlist. Each column corresponds to one display or zone, whereas each row will correspond to the content that will be syncing amongst those displays or zones. The next step is to bring up your media that you'll be playing. You'll see the individual cells say transparent by default. This means that there is no media scheduled to play in that zone. If you leave a cell as transparent, it will show up as blank on your display. If you click on a cell, that will bring up your media on the right, and you can then click on the plus icon next to a piece of media you want added into that cell. You can also drag a media file into a specific cell by grabbing the three lines to the left of a media file and dragging it to the cell you want that file in. Another way to open the media library on the right is to click on the right icon in our list of three icons in the top center. When you highlight over that, it says Open Media. Multiple files can be added into each cell. In this example, there's two files in the first cell playing to the northbound display and one file in the second cell playing to the southbound display. This means the second display is always going to play the file scheduled in its column, whereas the first display will alternate between the two files scheduled in its cell. You can have a maximum of 500 files in a synchronized playlist. You can see right now we are only utilizing three of our 500 files. At this point, you can save your playlist if you only need one row of media files synced up. If you need additional rows, click the left icon in our list of three top center icons. Highlighting over that tells you that it will be adding a new row. After adding your new row in there, follow the previous steps to add media files to it. You'll also notice ellipses next to each column and row, and if you click on these ellipses, you'll find additional options. If you click on the ellipses for a row, you have a few different options. Select row will expand that row and show the multiple files within each cell. Now we can see both of the files that are in our first cell. It's also going to allow you to add media files to all the cells in this row. Clearing the row 
will clear all the media files added into this row. And deleting the row will delete the row and all the media files associated with it. If you click on the ellipses for a column, you'll have a few different options too. Select column will select all of the cells within this column and allow you to add media files to all of them at once. When you select merge column, you are making two or more columns into one. The other columns you select will lose their content and instead play what is playing in the column you chose to merge. This is beneficial if you have many displays of the same size that will be playing the same content. All our 1080p screens, for example, can be a single column rather than multiple. If you've selected the ellipses with already merged columns, you'll have the option to split them back into their individual columns as well. You can also move your column right or left to rearrange how they're organized within your playlist. This is a user preference and does not change how playback functions. Clear column will clear all of the media files added to this column. And delete column will delete the column and all of the media files associated with it. In this example, we have a mall with four indoor displays, one at their north side, one at their south side, one at the west side, and one at the east side. And every night from 8.45 p.m. to 9 p.m., they want their mall closing at 9 p.m. message to play on all of their displays at the same time. This is an example of where a synchronized playlist might come in handy. Here's another example of a synchronized playlist, and one that you might see more commonly. With our previous playlist, all of our displays had the same dimensions, but in this one, you'll see that we have three different columns of three different dimensions. On top of that, our third column actually has two different displays within it, but they are the same dimension, which allows us to put them within one column by merging them. As long as they're playing the same content, this won't cause an issue. If we click our ellipses here and select split column, we can see the two displays that it's playing to. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future.